All right, guys, what is going on? Uh, this It's been a lot going on in the gaming world that I want to talk about, and um, I haven't been able to wait until the end of the month where I do a full VF cast where I talk about two or three items at one time. Uh, so I'm going to do it on this one. And um, i got three things on deck, so uh, hopefully you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy the commentary because um, I really appreciate the ones who listened and, and the ones who have been coming through on supporting the channel really really appreciate it Let, let's just go ahead and get into this first yes i've listened to young yeah on um uh the new uh yakuza or uh, what they call it like a guide in uh, his voice acting it doesn't matter his voice acting is is is, is absolutely it is it, it, bad it's bad the english dub of his voice acting is not that good and um yeah i don't recommend listening to it uh, I know he's been getting a lot of backlash and he doesn't like the criticism. I'm not going to get into all of that because, you know, uh, there's a lot of people out here that don't have uh, thick skin. They just can't deal with criticism. And, and and the ones usually are like that are the ones that make their content giving out criticism. They're usually the ones that can't take it. So that, it's really interesting how that plays out. But, um, yeah, I listen to it. Uh, I will stick with Japanese uh, uh, version of the, the voice acting and read the commentary like i've been doing when it comes to uh you know yakuza and those yakuza games and honestly i i want the game just because of the uh you know the like i did the video on the daytona usa 2 and uh I, that that's really the reason why I, I i got the game so i'm not really trying to invest into the story too much but um yeah i'll probably play it and finish it but uh it is it, it, it's pretty bad but it sucks but nevertheless um, I don't know uh, what they were thinking <laughs> and I don't know what they're trying to uh, accomplish because it, it, it was just bad. Maybe he needs to do something else. I think he'll be pretty good at other stuff. I, I don't know the other voice acting that he's done, but I know this one was not that good. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, the second thing I want to talk about really quick is um, Gerard, uh, the completionist. Uh, I know I've, I've, I watched Call of Jobs video. I watched some Ordinary Gamers video. And um, I really don't want to get too emotional with this uh, commentary. But um, I, my grandmother just passed away maybe about a month ago. You know, just recently she passed away. And she was in the early stages of dementia. Like she wasn't, she knew who I was. She knew who my four year old son was, which was awesome. You know, I really wanted to have her know that she has a great grandson. And she acknowledged it. But the thing about it was she started to forget the small things. She used to always ask me over and over again, you know, like, how old is my son? And and she would ask me um, what time did I show up to see her? Or she would ask me, you know, just small things over and over again that you know that you were supposed to remember, like, right away. Or she was like, you know, did you move into your house yet? And you know, and I would, I, I would answer it and she would ask it again, like the next five minutes. Like, so I know she was in the early stages, but the, the important thing was, was she knew, you know, she knew what was going on with me and knew how things were going in my life. So that's the important part. But I, I can't imagine how other people, family members who were going through those things and really dealing with that in a, in a, in a way where they truly forget things. And for th these people that have donated to this cause, and come to find out that the money was not necessarily used for that uh, purpose. I mean, it was just sitting in a uh, account. That that's some pretty scummy stuff, man. I mean, it's, it's pretty bad. You know, um, they they he needs to fix that. And I don't know if it's gonna be fixed beyond repair because that's a highly sensitive topic that uh, you don't want to mess with with anybody. You know, people spend their hard-earned money to uh, donate or they do research on certain things or, you know, in the way things are nowadays with the economy for the past few years, it's it's uh, pretty tough to, like, shell out money for certain things. And when you think you put your money in for a good cause, you expect, you know, at, at the very least, you will want that money to go to that cause. And for, you know, them to be sitting that money in one account and not ever moving, it's it's pretty bad. I don't, I don't know what Gerard's going to do, what he can do, um, the, even if he does decide to, or uh, whoever's in charge of it, decide to go and, you know, put the money in the right place, damage has pretty much been done already. Because it, it's not just about necessarily the money. 
it, it's the trust that we know that it's going to go to the right cause. And and and, and, and as good as a guy Gerard has been throughout the years on YouTube, he's been one of the coolest type of uh, you know YouTubers. And and he he's one of those guys that you go and listen to. You know, when you have a bad day, things are going uh, not the best. And he's one of those YouTubers that would actually you will listen to and, you know, just have a really good, you know, feeling out after you watch the content. Because, you know, some a lot of this content is stress relieving. It, it helps, you know, it, it gets people through their day. And sometimes we look at these people as regular people, the, pe the guy next door, the guy down the street, one of our friends that we don't get to see all the time. So we see them through the... Through, through YouTube and, and you know you build a type of trust and you do something like this it is it, really heartbreaking you know to some people it's really you know devastating especially with this type of topic so I, I don't know how it's going to fix that hopefully it gets fixed sometime soon but it, it's pretty bad and uh, last but not least I'm gonna go over this article real quick I put the article the link in the description of the article uh, you uh, rock the CEO of Rockstar well, owner take two um well the publisher they suggest games should be paid for per hour played so basically they want you to pay for every hour that you play a game now with gta 6 on the horizon that game's gonna be you know easily gonna be 70 dollars. i mean i i would see why i wouldn't it'd probably be more for a deluxe edition or whatever they try to pay uh a uh, uh, shell out for you guys or for me as well because i'm gonna play the game but you know then you already know the microtransactions and all the stuff that's going to be a part of it you saw how gta 5 is going so now you're looking at a situation where these guys are actually talking about hey these games should be pay played per hour you know um and it and i'm gonna basically say what uh the the what is this right here the quote it says in terms of our pricing of any entertainment property basically the algorithm is the value of the expected entertainment uses which is to say the per hour value times the number expected hours plus the terminal value that's perceived by the customer ownership the title is owned rather than rented or subscribed to he said in most confusing way yeah that, that that's just a bunch of word salad but basically what he was saying is um he's offering the overall value of video games offer um uh, offer that the price should be based on how many hours they can expect fans to play the game now i'm gonna be honest with you guys I, don't get me wrong i'm not for this but this is not a this is not a back this is not a uh, a new concept if you ever grew up in the 80s and 90s they did this in the arcades they they put games out there based on how feel, how long they think you're going to play is it the same thing probably not but it is kind of like the same thing if you want to play longer you put more quarters in you know sometimes if they feel like the game is worth it you don't just put a quarter in some games were a dollar fifty some games were two dollars you go back and look at nba jam for the arcades i think you had to put almost i think it was two dollars a game you know and those games was like maybe 15 you know maybe you know uh 18 minutes a game but if you wanted to keep playing uh unless if you won and in some cases that wasn't even the case um even if you uh in some cases if you wanted to keep playing you had to throw more quarters in there so it's not necessarily anything new so uh i'm i'm not uh, i'm not for this because <laughs> obviously if you buy a game it should be your game you shouldn't have to pay uh over you know the amount that you're purchasing like i said if gta 6 is 70 dollars, you should be able to get the full game now this online service stuff that's where things get a little bit tricky do you and it's something to think about and i don't, I don't i'm not for it but you got to understand the logic if you grew up in the uh, arcade era do you pay more or continue to pay over and over again if you're playing a live service part of a game or live services in general i mean do you i mean if you think about it, if they're constantly putting out content for the game let's say every month or whatever do you should you pay more every time they put out that content it's just something to think about i don't think you should i think it's ridiculous but when they're when when you look at cost versus production like if they're producing you know let's say if somebody's producing a game every month and you want to play that game or episode of a game every month you know so it, it, it it's almost uh i'm just looking at it from the lens of how how would that work um I, like i said i wouldn't be for it but i don't want people to be left in the dark thinking like 
oh, this shouldn't be an issue at all. If we pay money, we should be able to get all the live service stuff for free. Yeah, I agree. I think you should. But when that when somebody has a counter argument, you have to understand like that's the argument they're going to come up with. And I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of companies are going to look at that logic and it's up to us as gamers not to participate in that. If you don't want to deal with it, don't deal with it. It's one of the reasons why I don't even play GTA 5 online. I, I, it's just to me, it's just I, I think it's I don't think it's worth it. But that's just me. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh quick um episode of the vf cast i guess you can call it that and uh, i'm going to uh get back to what i've been doing uh and uh get some stuff together so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your uh day holidays are coming up enjoy the holidays hopefully you can uh if not you know uh just turn things around things get better so you'll be able to all right y'all i'm gonna get up out of here y'all take it easy y'all be blessed peace